Hi, my name is Sandra and today I'd like to show you how to load a Google SketchUp model into Wizard. Google SketchUp is a free 3D modeling software that helps you create amazing 3D models which you can use for building virtual reality applications with Wizard. Together, SketchUp and Wizard make a really powerful combo. I decided not to build my own environment, but instead went to the Google warehouse and found this little model of a bathroom, which I really like. I've downloaded it and already opened it in SketchUp to see how everything looks, and it looks good so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and export this file as a 3D model. In order to use it in Wizard, I need a Colada file. So I make sure that Colada as the export type is selected down here and then I'm going to check the options and make sure I have checked these five checkboxes. Um, the two-sided faces is an optional one. You don't necessarily need it but you're on the safe side if you check it. As you can see I've already did export it so I'm not going to do it again. I just wanted to show you how it works. Next up, I open this model in the Wizard Inspector. As you can see here, it's the .dae file which I open in the Inspector. And um, the Inspector will open automatically by double-clicking on the Colada file. Alright, so I want to check in here if the units are set properly. Very often, coming from SketchUp and especially in the US, people tend to use inches instead of the metric system, which is not going to work with Wizard. So I just want to make sure everything's set correctly. So I selected the full model here. As you can see, it's surrounded by the white box. And I will get a measuring of that model down here. And it says it's 10 meters in total, which seems to be about right. I can double check by counting those squares here. One square is one meter by one meter. So it's one, two, three, four and a half meters, which seems to be about right. Um, if you're not sure if it's right or not, the easiest thing to do is just save your Colada file from within the inspector and it'll automatically convert it as an OSGB file. As you can see as well, I have already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. In general, I do um, prefer to use OSGB files. Since Wizard is built on Open Scene Graph, it's the native format and I get all the information out of it I need, which I might be missing with other file extensions. Alright, so I've downloaded the model, I've checked everything, the units seem to be right. So I'm going to start coding now. I'm going to go into Wizard and as you can see as well, I'm using Wizard 5 in the beta version that can be downloaded from our website right now and I will uh, show you some nice features that you can use in here. So I'm just going to double click into the blue area to open a new wizard file. You can do that as I did with double clicking or you can just hit file and create a new wizard file. All right, And then I'm going to make sure that I've saved it properly and I want to make sure it's in the, save, in the same folder as my 3D models, so I'll save that here and I'm just going to call it bathroom as well. And um, in order to start, I'm going to start with the usual import of the vis module, which includes all the vis commands I will need for my application. Also, I'd like to look at my model later on through an Oculus Rift, so I'm going to import the Oculus module to be able to use the HMD with this application. And then, as always, I'm going to initialize my application with the vis.go command. And um, that is the very basic setup of the script. And now I'm going to add the actual Oculus as an HMD to my scene. So right now I'm just setting up my hardware so I can be sure everything is properly set before I start actually coding my application. So as I said I want the Oculus to be used as an HMD so I'm just going to assign a variable that's called HMD to the module Oculus dot Rift which is the um, function in that module and it'll get all the necessary information like viewport, aspect ratio etc 
from out of that module. And then I want to link the sensor, the orientation sensor of the Oculus Rift to my main view so I'll be able to look around my scene and have a proper head orientation. So I'm just going to say hmd.getSensor and that will be linked to my this main view. There we go. And in order to be able to walk or navigate through my application, I'm going to add a keyboard navigation as well. To use the keyboard navigation properly, I need a module that is called VisCam, which I'm going to import up here just as it is a good Python style, importing all your modules at the top of your script. And then I'm just going to call another function from within that module that is called walk navigate and this includes a simple navigation setup to use the WASD keys and your mouse to walk through a um, application and then for now I'm going to outline the uh, HMD setup here because I want to show you on my desktop first how everything looks all right, so hardware set up. Now I'm going to start actually adding my model to my application, which I'm going to do with the vis.addChild command. I want to add a child because I want to make sure the hierarchies are set properly, and with adding a child, the model will automatically add it underneath the root node of the scene. In order to avoid any typos, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste my file name from within the folder over into my script. And this is already pretty much it. So I'm going to start this and see how it looks. Okay, so where are we? Oh, here's the wall. I'm going to move over a little bit. Oh yeah, so here's my bathroom. That looks all right. It's in there. It's pretty dark though, and it's all black around. So what I would like to do is get like a little environment for it. So let's do that. Wizard comes with a couple of uh, nice 3D models that are free to use for you. It just They just can be found in the uh, installation folder of Wizard. And there's one that is called sky underscore day dot OSGB. And it's just basically adding a simple ground plane and a sky dome and there's also one that is called sky night for a night scene so let's start this over again okay let's move over so this looks much better already I have some clouds here and I have some grass and if I look through my bathroom window I uh, have a nice scenery so this is much better than the black surroundings but um, in general, it's still a little dark, so what I would like to do is add some lights. Uh, I don't want to go too deep into lighting, uh, because lighting is a whole nother chapter. Therefore, I'm just going to create a simple sunlight to illuminate the scene in general. In order to use uh, lights nicely in Wizard 5, there is a new module that is called Viz Effects. And uh, we're going to import that module to be able to use it. And uh, we're going to create a sunlight that um, I just call sun, obviously. And I'm going to call the VisFX module. And I'm adding a directional light out of that module. And then, because it's a sunlight, I want to change the color slightly to make sure it's kind of like a yellowish, sunny color. Also, because it's a directional light, I need to set Euler values to tell it in which direction or which surfaces the light is supposed to illuminate. And I'm going to do that with the yaw and the pitch. I don't um, want to set any value for the, for the row. All right, let's look at the scene again. Okay, well, this is much better now. It's all nice and bright like on a sunny day. So this is nice and you can see this is a scene where you could play around a lot with lighting but this is not the purpose of this tutorial. 
right, so there's one more thing that bugs me a little bit, as you might have noticed. Our starting point is kind of here within the wall. So imagine you're wearing an HMD and you open the application and the first thing that happens is you bump your head into a wall. So I don't want to do that. It's, that's odd and not a good style. So I'm going to close my application again and I'm going to go back to the inspector where I still have my bathroom model opened and I'm going to change the start point, the origin. All right. Um, first off, we can do that right within the inspector. In earlier versions of Wizard, you'd always have to go back into your 3D modeling program. With Wizard 5, the inspector is capable of editing 3D models, which is a really nice feature. So I'm going to, just going to check and, and select the whole scene here, and I'll s kind of see, I don't know if you can actually see it, the origin is right here. So you can see the coordinate system is X, Y, and C. And um, the origin of the bathroom is there as well, which is the corner of the bathroom. I would like um, the origin of the scene to be in the middle of the bathroom so I'd have a nicer starting point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bathroom and I'm going to hit the translate tool and you see these arrows appear. They look just like in every common 3D modeling tool and now I can move my whole model. Just to be sure, I'm going to move it out of the other way a little bit and check the scene again. There we go. This is the origin of the scene so I want this point to be in here. How do we do that? We move the bathroom at the right position. There we go. And check again. This seems to be like a really good starting point. And then we'll just save this in here. And because we've done everything in the inspector, I don't need to change anything in my script. I can just hit F5 again, start the application, and there we go. No head bumping into walls anymore. That's pretty nice. And my scene is well illuminated. There is a nice space. We have a nice environment. We can see th something through the window. I'm pretty happy with that. And as you can see, it's not a lot of code. It's actually pretty easy to do. And um, next up, I'm going to connect an Oculus to my laptop and show you how I look at my environment through the Oculus Rift. Welcome back. So here now you can see my coworker Chris, who's looking around my bathroom with an Oculus Rift on his head. He's quite enjoying the scene and I hope I could show you an easy way to utilize your Oculus with Wizard and SketchUp. Thanks for watching my tutorial and I hope I'll see you soon.